Hi, my name is Evelyn Hulawan. I'm delighted to present this lightning talk at SMEC 2022 on behalf of myself and my colleague, Associate Professor Dr. Catherine Mooney. We're going to talk about our Role Models video project, which is titled Role Models in Peace STEM. You can be what you can see, and it's been sponsored by the HEA and the Institute of Physics. So what is PSTEM? Well, PSTEM represents the mathematics-based science subjects such as physics, mathematics, engineering, and computer science. We wanted to focus on these uh, subjects in particular because there is a lack of gender diversity specifically across these fields. Looking at the current statistics on women in STEM or PSTEM in Ireland, um, there are striking gender imbalances in subject choices at post-primary level. Ireland has the highest proportion of STEM graduates in the EU, but only one in five of these um, identify as female. Less than 25% of those working in STEM identify as female, according to the CSO, which is reported in the Department of Education and Skills um, report in 2016. And we can see across the research that doing maths or engineering is often seen as masculine by young people. And just looking at the statistics of numbers taking engineering or technology subjects in Ireland, we see there is a huge discrepancy across genders there. In this as well, we do recognise that gender is a spectrum, um, but the data that's available is only putting people into male and female and hence what we're reporting on here so far. So the UN have been looking at issues of diversity across STEM um, and their arguments that they've put forward in their Cracking the Code report outlines the reasons we should be encouraging more diversity across STEM. So more women in STEM will mean more role models for girls, which will hopefully lead to more girls choosing studies in STEM subjects, which will hopefully lead to more innovators with diverse backgrounds looking at um, the global challenges that we are trying to solve and hopefully will bring us to better solutions to these, particularly in the sustainable development goals. So we've looked at the factors that influence girls and young women considering STEM and we've taken the framework provided by UNESCO based on the research that they were looking at in their 2017 report. And these factors, they've broken down into society, so cultural messages, school, how they're taught and what's available to them to learn, family and peers, and a research by uh, Mushtaba and Reese saw that family was hugely important in influencing girls to continue specifically with maths. Um, and then looking at the learner, self-efficacy, their language and spatial skills, their interest engagement in a subject and their STEM identity, which we hope will be influenced positively by um, looking at these role model videos. Based on these frameworks, or based on this framework, the video showcases the backgrounds and influences of each of the role models that we have and highlight what they enjoy about what they do. And in their conversations, the role models also identify challenges that they may have faced in their careers, such as being the only one woman in the room and they also share advice on overcoming similar issues. Looking at what young people are taking to heart when they're choosing where they might go and what careers they might go into, a report by SFI in 2017 found that of the first year undergraduate students um, surveyed, 1,000 of them were surveyed, 62% of them chose the course that they were in because they felt that like it would, they would fit in. This was less than the career prospects that they thought they would get out of it. So I think this is, a, in, this is significant um, because if that sense of belonging in a course or to a subject is such a strong influencer on young people, it's something we need to take note of. There's a lot of research done on this sense of belonging with math, with regards to subjects and looking specifically at sense of belonging with mathematics now, where um, Good, Ratten and Dweck have a study um, showing that this sense of belonging is a significant predictor of a person's intention to pursue maths. Um, it leads to less feelings of anxiety and more belief in the utility of the subject. And it correlates with the growth mindset. This is important because when we look at growth and fixed mindset, um, a study by Leslie et al found that in fields where people think you have to be born good at something to be successful at it, we see less women in those fields. So in this graph, you can see that in the subjects of maths, physics, engineering, 
where there was a strong um, proportion of people who thought that you had to be born good at the subject um, to be successful, there's far less women taking that. So in that regard, the cultural message is really important. Um, we see these messages surrounding young women all the time and have to um, take note of the fact that in Ireland there were a lot of negative cultural messages around young women and mathematics. However, we know that role models can mitigate negative stereotypes. They offer girls an authentic understanding of a career in STEM and they can enhance the self-concept in STEM and motivation to pursue a career when they see people who are like them. So the premise of this initiative is based on research demonstrating that female role models um, can mitigate negative stereotypes and, and, and really offer a unique perspective in, into those careers. So we're, it, uh, research has also shown that it's possible to reduce gender gap in future career choices through activities like this. And uh, research also demonstrates that students can find role models who challenge gender and racial or ethnic stereotypes and pursue varied hobbies more interesting. In that regard, we have found some wonderful role models across lots of age groups, stages in their career, lots of different fields in STEM. Um, and we're hopeful that these 10 role models will provide those authentic glimpses into careers from pursuing STEM. We've also got um, a teacher resource booklet and a slide deck that can be used in classes with the longer version of the videos. And we've got shorter versions that can be looked at um, on social media. We're hoping that this will lead to discussions in the classroom, not just in single and um, sex classrooms, about you know, cultural messages and the importance of role models. That's the seven minutes up. We're hopeful that it will demonstrate the potential careers in STEM and hopefully get young people to look at other role models that might be local to them, like those shown here, or role models that may be historical. Feedback from teachers so far have said that, you know, it's generated more awareness and discussion, um, particularly in mixed classrooms, which is interesting, and it's led to um, students wanting to undertake projects. So we're hopeful in the next phase of research, we'll trial the videos and resources and investigate if they'll have any impact on students' perception um, of an attitudes towards STEM and potentially also investigate teacher attitudes towards STEM. So we're not um, sure yet what this methodology would look like, but if you've any feedback, please do email me. There are the references, um, our project funders and our project partners. And thank you very much for listening to this lightning talk.